Hi everyone, our Jamal page today and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make. I picked up some things. I've got all kinds of blue and turquoise uh, art, uh, acrylic paints and a black one. I've got gesso. <laughs> I've got some stencils and taking out just took out some uh, pieces. I've got some uh, very thin washi tape some uh, cardstock, cardstock? Uh, scrapbook paper uh, with the pattern and basically what I want to do I do have a focal point that I want to use which now in the mess that I have here I can't find oh here it is <laughs> so that's the uh, this uh, postcard I want to use on my page and just want to play around with what I have so I think I will just begin with placing my focal point and I will just uh, start to build uh, my page around it that's what I think I'll do not quite sure what but I hope I will have fun doing it I think here is good enough moving this aside and let's see maybe some pieces first and I need a glue stick. I'm uh, working today in my mixed media uh, journal. Uh, it's a. Uh, I'll show you in a minute which one it is. This one, Canson Mixed Media. And I've gessoed my page because I wasn't sure what I'm going to do on top, so I just figured why not I'll gesso the page, it's a good primer, and we'll see what happens. So, I'm, as I said, not sure what is going to become of this page. I'm quite a playing and we'll see just some pieces quite random maybe don't overthink it. <laughs> this is playing. So even if this won't show, I'm thinking it will give some texture and interest to the page. So we'll see. Okay, maybe just a little bit more. I do like the darker one, so let's see. to be quick about it because this is really it doesn't matter where everything goes yeah so let's see I think I'll start smearing some paint and I've got here navy blue a Copenhagen blue 
uh, these are a uh, deco art this one is my studio blue jean and I've got also sky blue turquoise and black we'll see let's start with the darker one and I'm just going to smear some paint I think I will uh, keep the darker uh, paint to the edges and I'm overlapping because basically uh, I want to everything to be incorporated together and be cohesive I don't want each piece to stand alone so that's basically what I'm trying to I will try to do now mm. we'll see next in line I should have shaken it shaken not stirred Okay, let's see this. Not enough difference between the two shades of blue. So I think I'll just move on to the next. And if you don't like using your fingers, just take a brush and do the same thing. I'm just having fun here. It really, really doesn't matter. So I'm trying to, uh, I don't know if it's blend, but as I said, overlap and make something that will look more organic. Now, right now it's still a mess, it will take more than just smearing paint, but this is the beginning. And if I don't like it, there is also always gesso. Gesso is your friend. I can always just cover everything and I don't know no maybe just a little bit to brighten this this whole uh, blue thing only in little places I think something like that so what I think now uh, I am going to let this dry and I'm just adding a little bit more paint in several places but basically this is it and I need for this to dry to continue and try to make something out of this page Okay, so I'm going to let it dry and I'll come back. I'm back. So, this is dry. I want to a uh, stencil and again, let's hope for the best. I'm using a makeup sponge and this stencil and let's see. I'm a little bit worried that I've picked up a pattern that is a little bit too big for this page, but I'm just going to go with it again 
if I don't like it. I don't like it. We'll see what happens. So I've got a quite, in several places I've got a very dark color and I'm trying uh, for the white to show more on top of the uh, darker colors. So I'm just dabbing again in places that I think didn't uh, take so well for uh, with the gesso like so and now I'm moving the stencil here and I'm just doing random sections of the stencil Okay, let's see, a little bit here. It's always uh, trying to take enough, uh, if it's paint or gesso, on your sponge without overdoing it so you won't have spillage underneath. your stencil yeah it's starting to take shape now I'm moving on to this stencil and we'll see what happens maybe I'm overdoing it but <laughs> as I said this is playing I like it. Yeah. I still uh, I have problem with <laughs> white spaces. I'm not sure I'm going to leave this. We'll see. Let's see, I'm going to use the same stencil now and maybe maybe use the blue. We'll see what happens. I think that I really don't like the white I think I'm going to just continue playing with layering stencil and we'll see what happens So now I'm more uh, intentionally picking areas that I want to deal with, that I don't like, and I place my stencil and just add something that I want. I think I have a stencil with this design but a smaller one, and I'm thinking that I'll get it out and add to the to the mix only <clears throat> with a smaller pattern we'll see yeah
yeah okay so I'm going to look for the other stencil and I'll be back I'm back here is the stencil and let's see if I can work it and we'll see what happens I'm just continuing to layer and hoping that in the end there will be something nice to look at It, but I want it to be a little bit more towards this section so I just moved my stencil to fit and yeah that's more like it I think in the end uh, our eye just take notice of all the elements that are repeating themselves and that's what makes it so interesting at least I hope so <laughs> just a little bit more some black this is quite thick this paint and I've got this I think it's used for drywall I'm not sure but I'm using it as a stencil Just adding here and there some interest and I know I've got a lot of details starting to like this page <laughs> all this hot mess My camera quit on me suddenly, but uh, fortunately I noticed it, so I haven't continued. And I remembered I took out this uh, washi tape, to, uh, and I'm thinking now would be a great time to use it. I always forget about washi tapes. I think this black and white will just add to the whole mix. I'm using it uh, mostly to frame my page. But I'm going to put it quite randomly. Do 
do I want some of it? Yeah, why not? Let's add more. This turned up crooked. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix it. Okay. Um, to lighten the page very very uh, gently I don't want to cover everything I think I think I will go with some a uh, white splatter so uh, the gesso is already here so that's what I'm going to take instead of a uh, of a uh, white acrylic paint and I'm just adding water to the gesso and I'm using a fan brush just a little bit more yeah I don't want uh, a lot of splatter to reach my uh, postcard so I'm just trying to go around it yeah I really <coughs> for such a mess I really like this page and I think this is it I just want to put some a uh, a words and I already got uh, I've got this uh, sticker that says family but I don't like uh, the color and with this kind of stickers the good thing is to have permanent markers or a uh, acrylic markers like Posca pen you just go over them and you you put whatever color you want and because I've got a lot of mess here I'm thinking if I need black or if I need white let's see mm. okay I'm going to let this dry because I've I've got all this splatter and I'll come back with this <laughs> this solution for the words I want here I'll be back I'm back so found some words in another <laughs> stash I have and I've got here a family and I've got here a life's greatest blessings blessing <laughs> and this is it that's my page I really had fun making it <laughs> and just letting loose Picking up some stuff and creating something, it's just great. I really hope you will try doing something like that and have fun with it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.